anything awesome? <gasps> Is that a blaster cow backpack? Yep. My mom bought it for me because I stopped eating the Christmas decorations. I love you, blaster cow. Uh, what's a blaster cow? She's the greatest superhero ever. It's blaster cow, blaster cow. <laughs> Evil intolerance won't skim on the justice. Wow, they are really running out of superhero ideas. Ew, look at that drill! Uh-oh, Chef Dude, it's happening again. <sighs> Whenever a kid shows up with a cool new thing, the others get jelly. As in, jealousy. Except Jude, he's cool as a cucumber. But the others, it's like a little green monster takes over their brains. Hey there, Red. I'm Kazunga, the invisible jealousy troll. What's your pleasure? Uh... Oh, holy cow, am I right? It could be yours! <laughs> oh, Ellen! How about I try it on? Just for a sec? Uh, maybe later? <laughs> okay, that's a timeout. Uh, that was hysterical. These kids are so easy to make jealous. I think I'll stick around. <laughs> Check it out. I got the new X-Foot Highlight Real Pros. That sneakerhead thinks he's so cool wearing shoes that light up. What you gonna do about it? Wow, Harold, those shoes are so hot. Better cool them off. Oh, they're not water. Proof. <laughs> Shoes that don't light up? What good are they now? <laughs> Time out for you too, Ricky McTwo Shoes. Perfect dismount, as usual. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, watch this. Ew, bath. Wait, 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 wait. Don't you like to win at everything? Well, nose picking counts too. What is with you kids today? <laughs> okay, who's next? <laughs> Dude, look how high I can go! <laughs> Too easy. What are you, afraid of heights? Get on the other swing and show her how high you can go. Dude, you're crushing it! What? I must have missed. Way to swing for the fences is later! <laughs> What is wrong with you? Who keeps talking? Oh, right. I'm invisible. That's better. Hey, are you not jelly? Whoa. Actually, I'm Jude. Good guess, though, little dude. Uh, I'm not asking if your name is jelly. I'm asking why you don't feel jealousy. <sighs> Look. I'm a jealousy troll. Gazunga's the name, and making people jelly is my game. Cool! Why aren't you ever jealous? I can't explain, troll dude, but it's a long story. You see, I can't feel jealousy because it's not my thing. Wait, is... is... is that it? Yep, guess the story was shorter than I thought. The Judester's all about being his best self. You should try it. I am, by making people jealous, and you're ruining it. Sorry, brat. I'm just not the jelly type. Not the jelly type, huh? <laughs> Challenge accepted. Dude, I call this skater tottering. <laughs> so that's how you have fun when you're alone on a teeter-totter. Skateboarding, eh? For the tough ones, sometimes you gotta make it personal. 
Usually boosting a wand's power with jelly gems is against union rules, but this is a jelly emergency. Hey, Jude, you think you can thrash? Well, watch this. Uh, here's your extra hot coffee, Captain. Ta-da. Nailed it. Dude, here it comes. That was awesome! We can be poor buddies. He's unjellying my jellies! Good old Tooks. Wouldn't be the same without you, pal. Behold, our superior Tooks. So warm. So Tooky. Sweet lids, dudes. Tooke bros. Tooke bros? That's not even a thing. Who is that? H head office? Yes. I know I'm behind on my jealousy quota for the day. Okay, okay, I'm on it. Dude, I noticed you like to take your time saying, dude. Dude. I sure do, dude. It's kind of my whole thing. Then let's both say dude together. You're on, dude. One, two, three. <gasps> dude. Whoa, great dude, dude. That does it. You gotta be jelly. In this Zen routine just to mess with me, aren't you? But why would I get jelly of my pals when I could be happy for them instead? Oh, what a lovely sentiment. You must be so proud of yourself. Well, I hope you got some peanut butter, kid, because it's time for a jelly storm! W what's going on? Whoa, I have a jetpack! Not for long, you don't. Kazonga knew how bad jealousy feels. I bet she'd stop all of this. But how do you make a jelly troll jealous? What? You want to send Jeremy to help? But, but I finally got this kid on the ropes. And, and Jeremy's half the troll I am. Ah! Hmm, there are other jelly trolls? That could work. But I'm still gonna need help. Help? I want to help. Why not me? Pick me, Jeremy! <laughs> Uh, sure. Okay, here's what I need you to do. Now, where is that little dude? This time, I'm definitely gonna get him shook like a bowl full of... Jelly! Huh? I'm jelly to the max! Ah! What's going on here? Send another jealousy troll. Now, this is my turf and... Wait, Jude, are you... Actually jealous? Totally, dude. I'm jealous of everyone. Even this guy. No, it, it can't be. I was supposed to make you jealous. Oh, what is going on in my guts? It feels so hicky and birdy. That's jealousy, dude, and now you know how it feels. Wait, did you say I'm feeling j jealous? Yep. Now you see why it's wrong to make you fool! You're never Jelly throw! Jealous! You! You! Ah! Uh, oops. And after your record two-week timeout, you are all banned from bringing anything cool to school ever again! Two weeks and no more cool stuff? But we already learned our lesson! 
Ghana. Totally. You dudes are doing great since Gazunga exploded. I mean, nobody's even mentioned Beth's cool new braces. Wow! Hi, I'm Jeremy Jellyberg, your new invisible jelly troll. <laughs> Another new Total Drama Rama. There's a bear on your roof. Ah! Oh. This and I make good chicken tikka masala. Ooh, you're making me hungry. Have a great holiday. Happy holidays! I'm sorry, Steve. We're going to have to let you go. Please, I have a family and I know things. If I'm going down, then you. I my name's Code D. I need to go pee in the bathroom. E. I have information that. And then after I pee, I will use TP. Um, Izzy, are are you hunting Cody? People hunting is a Tuesday activity. I'm observing. Have you ever like watched Cody? He does weird stuff. Ooh, can I have half your banana? Yes, you can. Yeah, I guess Cody is, okay, a little odd, but uh, okay. <laughs> you are not exactly the queen of normal yourself. You're just saying that because I have jars of jam on my hands. It's actually marmalade, which is the name for jam that's gross. Cool. Good talk. I've been doing a lot of Cody observing, and I don't think he's odd at all. He's super normal. For an alien, that's right, Cody's a space alien from space. And I'm going to prove it. Sure, sign here, please. Okie dokie. What's this for, anyway? It gives me permission to perform an autopsy on Cody. Whoa, 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 now. Let me think about this. No. But Cody is an alien, and the only way to prove it is with science. So, I need to cut him in half and count the alien rings inside. This sounds like a case of, I spent all weekend watching the Space Network, and now I think everyone's an extraterrestrial. I didn't want to watch alien movies. My cat swallowed the remote. Oh, Mr. Minnins. Not the Space Channel. I want the Princess Warrior Network. I'm going on the I think you need to take your cat to the vet, Izzy, and no autopsies on other kids. Fine, but I'm continuing with my non-invasive Cody study. Okay, but if Cody turns up autopsied, you get a timeout. Okay. Uh oh, look out, Courtney! I can't hear where I'm going. For this first test, just tell me what you see in these totally random abstract inkblots. Kind of looks like a comet. That one looks like a spaceship. Yeah, that's a nifty laser blaster. Well, someone's got space stuff on the brain, huh? Very interesting. Uh, let's move on. <laughs> this sensor will help me get an accurate reading on my truth detector. Are you comfortable? Yes. How about now? A little less, but... Question one. Do you live far away? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And, uh, um, do you sometimes miss your real home? Mmm, sometimes. Ah. Final question. Are you from a planet? Yes. We're done here. Thanks, Cody. Da -da 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 -da. See? Cody is an alien. <gasps> Did you use up all the toilet paper doing this? Hello? Can I get some help? There's no toilet paper in here. <sighs> well, goodbye, Lewis. I bring you proof of alien life, and all you care about is butt hygiene? Wake up, Sheepo! Look, I know I 
said you could keep playing your Cody's an alien game, but I'm getting worried you're about to pull an Izzy. What's pulling an Izzy? Well... Happy birthday, dear Owen! Happy birthday to you! Except for the first three. What? Just uh, don't let things get out of hand, please. Fine. <laughs> Engage countdown to rocket launch. Whoa! Where did you get a rocket? Ah, uh, the space military. Duh. Uh oh. Izzy's pulling an Izzy. I'll run and tell the teacher. And Courtney's pulling a Courtney. Let's get out of here before things get out of hand. Come on, Cody. I'm taking you home. Yay! That's where my jammies live. Dizzy, stop! What are you doing? Dizzy, <laughs> let me in! Dizzy! Open the door! Hey, okay, okay, I'm not a cow. Launch complete. Ooh, I could get used to this. Artificial gravity engaged. Ow! Uh, what were you thinking, Izzy? Cody's an alien. I have to get him back to his planet. I don't know where it is yet, but how big can space be? It's big. Approaching interlocking wormholes. Avoid at all costs. Wormholes? Cool! Let's go! What? Are you kidding? That was terrifying! And look at this stupid tail! Plus, we got no idea where that wormhole spit us out! We're gonna be lost in space forever! Forever? No. We've only got enough air to last oh, an hour, tops. Why didn't you pack more air? I'm not blaming anyone, but one of us did a lot of screaming. These buttons make funny sounds. Cody, no! Almost done! Intergalactic positioning system activated. Yay! Take me home! Reach home calibrating. System initializing. Oh, we're heading home! Good. I was starting to work. You have arrived at your destination. <sighs> home at last. Wait, where's the pollution? The ocean full of plastic bottles? This is not planet! Landing maneuver complete. Warning. Fuel reserves now empty. Yay! Cody, I thought you programmed that thing to take us home! Uh-huh. I did! This is my home! <gasps> I was right! Cody is an alien! Everyone! Cody has returned to us! <laughs> Welcome to Planet Cody, where I was hatched. Here, everyone is a Cody. Ah! Why didn't you ever tell us you weren't from Earth? I tried, but no one ever listened. One, two, three, four. I'm from outer space. Cody, shush. No one cares if you're out of space. Come, Cody of Earth. Tell us of your travels. <sighs> okay, Cody's an alien. Don't worry, I'm not gonna say I told you so. That would be rude. Boom! In your face, my god! Cody! 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 They love me, Izzy! They love me! Good for you, Cody! Good for you. You did a lot to get Cody back to his home, Izzy. Is that because you know how it is to feel different and thought finding the place Cody belongs might mean there's a place where you belong, too? Did you just call me weird? Uh, no. Rude! I'm reporting you to the school board. I'm just... You're in big trouble. Hey! Let's go see what Cody's doing. Your experiences on Earth sound so thrilling and strange. Tell us more. Well, on Earth... They only eat the inside of the banana. Oh, so good! Shut, Izzy! Good news! 
These conies pee rocket fuel. Not sure a doctor would call that good news. They refueled the ship. We can get back to Earth. That's kind of gross, but... All right, Codis, let's go. I'll be right there. I just need to say goodbye. I know I'm your hero, but Earth is where my best friends live. And every day, they teach me about love, acceptance, and respect. They're leaving without you. Wait, what? I was worried we were going to be stuck on that planet, but looks like I'm getting us back home safe and sound. You sure did, Chef. Ah! Oh, no. That's the wrong Cody. Whoa. You are in such big trouble. You grabbed the wrong Cody, you left the real Cody in outer space, and you called me weird. Not going to forget about that either. Big trouble. I would not want to be you right now. No. <laughs> uh, this is going to be a long trip home. Dun, dun, dun. A bear on your roof. You're getting swapped out for the latest model. I mean, think about it. Hmm. Meet the all-new Baby 4000 GT, featuring the sweetest button nose and those adorable chubby widow arms. An upgraded deluxe giggle also comes standard. <laughs> Parents, forget the other kids. You'll get it right with this one. New babies, better than you, period. So, you get in the picture? <laughs> Hilarious. You guys do great jokes, but... I think I'll ask an adult. Da, 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 da. Whoa, whoa, Chef! I just asked if what they said was true. You don't have to make a big production out of it. Life is easy for an only child. It's all peaches and cream. But now you have a brand new baby sibling to trample on your dreams. It's the worst. It's the worst when you're the one who was born first. What can you do? Cause number two takes all the attention away from you. Keep an eye on your cookie. Half of them go to the rookie. You put on a fancy show just as good as any pros. But all the oohs and o's are for the bubbles that he blows. Throw up. Please throw a hissy when your mom is bro or sissy. You'll get so mad that you'll just want to burn. When you're first, it's the worst. It's the worst to be first. It's the worst when you're first. When you're first. Wait, so no one has anything nice to say about becoming a big sister? Well, really, there is. Whoa, look at the clock. That musical number took all day. It's pickup time. What? No! Oh, no. I'm not going to become some kind of second-class citizen in my own home. I'm out of here. Chef, car keys. You got it, Beth. Wait, why do you need my... <laughs> ah, my car! I think you have a bigger problem than your car. Beth's mom is here. <laughs> I gotta find Beth, but who's going to keep her mom busy? <laughs> Leave it to us, us Chef. Hmm. I'm not sure where you came from, sir, but you do seem to be tall enough for the job. You're hired. But how am I going to track down Beth without my car? Don't worry, Chef. I got you covered. Remember what I got for my birthday? Hold on. Is that my bumper? And my muffler? 
Come on, Beth, keep it on the road! Where did that come from? Ah, just car is a total lemon. Ah, good old zoo, you never let me down. Welcome, you're in luck. It's little siblings getting free day. Oh, but I'm just a big sister. Ew! 20 bucks! <gasps> so when's it my turn to be the head? Hello? Oh, uh, too late! Hello? Beth? Hello? Greetings, Mrs. Beth's mom. I am Chef's supply teacher because he is away with, uh, uh, butt flu. Uh, okay. Well, I'm looking for Beth. She's usually first out when she knows dinner is rump roast. Rump? <laughs> well, I, I can assure you that Beth is safely here in the school, but we're conducting parent-teacher interviews, and, um, it's your turn. Oh, uh, well, I didn't receive an email about this, but... Shoot, I could use some adult company. After all, I'm about to be drowning in poopy diapers again any day now. You! Oh, <coughs> uh, what my tummy meant to say is, ew, wonderful! <laughs> of course, Beth loves the zoo. At least she's somewhere safe. <laughs> or she's already lizard food. Hold on, Beth! Chefs are coming! Hello, Mama Baboon. I bet you treat all your kids with respect, don't you? <laughs> Fun fact! The mama snakes only have a first baby snake so they can feed it to newer, more important baby snakes. Huh? That can't be right! <laughs> eh, busted. I made that up to freak people out! <sighs> I guess being a big sister really is the worst thing ever. Ooh, no babies, huh? Well, Looks like you're my new mom and dad. Yep, it's like a one kid soccer team in here. Look. <laughs> and it's the strangest thing. With this baby, chocolate makes me want to barf, but I can't get enough of pickles and melted ice cream. See? Ugh. Pickles give me terrible diarrhea, and so does melted ice cream. But I've never tried them together. <laughs> Oh, I hate this. Beth! Beth! Jeff, over here. Beth, you get out of there right now! Forget it, humans! My new giant turkey family loves me and would never trade me in for a new model. Ha! Turkeys? Those are cassowaries. They eat turkeys for breakfast. Not true. <laughs> Got me again, but they are vicious predators. Check this out! Mmm, winner, winner, chicken dinner! <laughs> well, how'd you like that? A tiny tooth, but no diarrhea. It's an ice cream miracle! Wait, that wasn't me. Yeah, it was me. Oh, oh dear, it's happening. Beth's baby brother is on his way. What? <laughs> Gwen, go find me 11 herbs and spices, cause these birds are going to Friar Town. Ah! Okay, time to take care of business. Mom, Dad, stop fighting! He's my teacher! Get back here, you overgrown feather duster! Oh yeah, this is going viral for sure. meal of the day. Huh? Whoa! This isn't breakfast! It's another dumb baby! I'm still gonna be a big sister. Well, that's just great! Whoa. I guess you are kinda cute. Maybe being a big sister isn't that bad. It's not. You only got half of the story. There's a good side to having little brothers and sisters, too. There is? Like what? Help! Please help! 
You can blame them for the bad stuff you did. You get the new clothes, and they get your old ones. And they look up to you like you're the coolest person ever, even if you're a total doofus. Really? Really. There isn't a lot of bodily fluids here! Come on, let's get you back to school. It's way past pickup time, and your mom's probably freaking out. I forgot she's making rub roast for dinner! <laughs> Bye, little bro. Hey! What about Seth? Come back! Come back! No, I mean out there. I knew it. My brain is broken. <gasps> Where's Beth? And the baby! Attention, attention. Big Beth announcement. I'm a big sister. So, who are you eating first? makes a real hero. Uh, what are you doing? All the world's a stage! And all the men and women merely players! <laughs> Sorry about that. I did it on purpose. Ooh, what you working on, Courtney? Sounds boring. Is it boring? You know what it is! My one-woman Shakespearean recital that I've been practicing all year for our upcoming talent show! Chef, where are the new props you promised me? A little busy, Courtney. Can someone please go into my office and get Courtney's props? Top left drawer on my desk. Don't look anywhere else. Ow, ow, ow. Format computer? Okay. Whoa! Uniforms from Chef's jobs before he started teaching! Wait, Chef was a chef? My brain hurts. Look what I found! <laughs> Hey, what's taking so long? Uh-oh. We found your Wait, mask! Wait, you a wrestler? You ever fight a bear? <sighs> Haven't seen this old thing in a while. Sorry, kids, but the history of this mask is so painful, I can't talk about it. Okay. <sighs> it was three long years ago. Oh, I was just a kid! <clears throat> Where was I? It was three long years ago. The OWW had just given me my first pro wrestling contract. I was in a tag team called Hot Lunch. My ring name was Soup, and along with my partner Sammy, we were headed for stardom. But right before our title match, the commissioner forced me into a double cross. I performed Sammy's signature move against him, the Ham Slam Witch. It knocked Sammy out of wrestling forever. And I felt so guilty, I quit the OWW and took the worst job I could think of. Teaching kids. I want to be a wrestler! Me too! Totally! Time to bring the pain! My mom calls me pain. Hi, bargain basement beatdown. I need ten of your most painful chairs, please. Chef, sure. where do you get two-by-fours with nails sticking out of them? On it. Oh, sweet. Never mind. See? Now if anybody tries to grab me in a headlock, these guys will bite their arms off. Easy peasy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Folding chairs? Concealed squirrels? That's not wrestling. That's just fighting dirty. And it's what got me into trouble in the first place. Look, if I'm coaching, we wrestle clean. Got it? <sighs> I guess 
clean wrestling is better than no wrestling at all. Let's give wrestling a bath. Now, if you kids want to be real wrestlers, you got to create your alter egos. You guys know what that means. Make Just sleep the chance to dream. I there's the rub for in this sleep. Wrestling fans! Oh, hey! Put your hands together for the hottest new wrestlers in the whole school district! Mean Green! Ah! The Drama Queen! Refrigerate Orator! A towel? Kids, you look amazing! I don't think I've ever been so proud. What about the time we saved all those orphans? Nope, this. In fact, we're gonna put on a wrestling show instead of that boring thing Courtney wanted to do. But, Chef! Now let's jump ahead three weeks and see how great you're doing. <laughs> I don't understand. How is this possible? Because I'm a towel. No! I mean, how is it possible that you kids are worse than when I started coaching you three weeks ago? That's because your kind of wrestling is boring, Chef. If you just gave us some barbed wire and thumbtacks, then maybe... No, no, no! That's fighting dirty, and we're not wrestling that way. We can do better, Chef. Watch! Oh, this is a disaster. Everybody will have to watch Courtney's horrible thing. It's over. It's all over. <laughs> he tried to share a special part of his life, and we failed him. You know what that means? Chef is a lousy teacher. Hold on. I think I know someone who might be able to help. Uh, can I help you, stranger? <gasps> Sammy? Oh, baby, it's me. How you doing, Soup? But uh, I thought you were never going to speak to me again. Hey, you kidding? I've been trying to find you for years. Really? Because I sent a bunch of friend requests. I left voicemails. I even ordered you a meat bouquet every year on your birthday. We told Sammy about the big show. And it's not too late to cut Courtney's boring junk out, right? <laughs> Ah, oh, wouldn't miss the opportunity to get back in the ring with my pal, Soup. Oh, yeah. Well, all right then. Come on, kids. We got some training to do. Oh, baby. <laughs> Just like old times. <laughs> oh, yeah. His laugh didn't sound evil at all. Oof! Nice work, Duncan. You're only missing your kick by a couple feet now. You guys have really stepped it up since Sammy got here. Wonder where he is. Hmm. Why would Sammy not be out there? Thought he wanted to train for the big show. Breakaway chair welded solid, electric animal trap, angry beaver, everything I need to turn this show into a down and dirty revenge match. And the best part is, no one suspects a thing because no one's listening to me talk right now. <laughs> Sammy's not here for a reunion. He's here for revenge. He's going to fight dirty in the big match. Why am I telling you this? I have to tell Chef. Welcome, welcome, welcome. In this corner, weighing in at a combined weight of 110 pounds and hailing from here. It's the Total Town Maniacs! And in this corner, it's Hot Lunch! Chef, you can't do this! We need to cancel the fight! Courtney, I'm sorry I cut your Shakespeare talk log out of the show, but trust me, this is gonna be much less boring. But... You know, back in the day, my partner, Soup, did a lot for me! And to me! Now I finally have a chance to pay him back for all that! Kindness! Ooh. Now let's get wrestling! Eat! Eat! Ha! Oh. <laughs> nice one, kids! Take me in, Sammy! Take me! Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. 
<laughs> hey, you're up, Sammy. <laughs> Why, Sammy? Why? I'll tell you why. Because you're a dirty, weak, double crossing cheat. And now it's my turn to get dirty. Please, Sammy, don't do this. Fighting dirty only leads to more pain. It won't fix what happened in the past. Maybe not, but oh, baby, I'm really gonna enjoy it. Oh, huh? Play dirtier than us? Ha! I don't even know what soap looks like. Okay, let's do this. Whoa! Wow! Oh! Ah! Ice blaster! Eat! <laughs> whoa! Whoa! whoa. Ah! Looks like this match really was scheduled for one fall. Well, Sammy, are you ready to throw in the towel or what? Ha! I'm not about to be pinned by a bunch of toddlers, no matter how dirty they're fighting. Hey, you guys hear, like, a uh, whistling sound? I'm a projectile. One, two, three, it's over. We did it! We did it! You kids were amazing. I guess that sometimes in life we do have to... Revenge? Oh my, not for a while you won't. You're lucky to be alive. See? It appears you have a small Cody lodged in your sternum. <laughs> Can we get more boo? Everyone eat up. We got eggs. We got walnuts. We got omega threes, fours, and nineteens. And we got kale. Kale? Mm. Oh, it bangs. It bangs. It's brain food. We got to smarten you kids up pronto. Chef, these walnuts still have the shells on them. They do? Mm. Tastes good to me. What is going on? Don't be alarmed, but the school board is coming to perform mandatory testing that no one is prepared for. Today! Testing? Today? But why didn't anyone tell me? I got an email about it a few months ago, but I completely forgot until I saw it on the news. Worldwide school testing begins today, so remember, if your kids fail, blame the teacher. Dum, dum. You kids gotta pass the tests. I need this job. Yeah, but if we fail, nothing will happen to us. Wrong. The kids who don't pass the test get sent to work at the Cheese Factory. Ooh, I love cheese. <laughs> you won't for long. Every shift is 28 hours long and there are no days off. There's cheese everywhere, but you're not allowed to eat any. If you try, you'll get stopped by lasers until you explode. <gasps> You guys aren't seriously believing Harold's fake story about- We need to start studying, now! Or we can just order this. Behold, the Brain Strain 3000. It makes you the smartest person in the room. It says so right in the ad. I can say with some authority, that's true. Ugh. That's cheating! Only studying can make you smart. Chef, what's gonna be on the test? No clue. Math, history, emotions, flavor profiles, who knows? It was all in the email, but then there was a uh, terrible administrative error. Chef and Jelly Donut Time! Chef and Jelly Donut Time! Whoa, what is in this donut? You don't even know what's going to be on the test? Uh oh, our eyes twitching. Yep, storms are coming. Establishmentarianism. A N 
T I D E. Oh, I'm trying to study. You have to do that right now. Well, ice melts, Courtney, so yeah. I don't need to study anyway. I'm brilliant. Watch. 12 times 83 is. I, I don't know. Find a way to. We can't study everything, so we decided to study nothing. <sighs> Wake me up when it's time to go to the cheese factory. But if we study, we could... <laughs> You're not even gonna try. Nope. <sighs> Where are you going? I'm all packed up for the cheese factory. Goodbye, Toy Box. <mwah> Goodbye, Spinny Globe Planet. <mwah> I'm gonna miss that globe. I wiped all my boogers on it. I have my whole life mapped out. University, double PhD in math slash horseback riding, a summer house in Malibu. I can't just give up. I have to pass this test. I guess Harold's silly idea isn't so bad after all. Brain Strain 3000, you're my last hope. I can feel you judging me. Stop it. <laughs> This better be worth the 99 cents. Place on head before activating Brain Strain 3000. Okay, here we go. <laughs> That's funny. I don't feel any smarter. But I was pretty smart already. Hmm, better test myself. 3.5 seconds? At the same time I always get. Ugh, I just got ripped off. That dumb brain hat didn't work. Huh? Sorry, I was watching my new favorite show. It's called Blank Square, and it is awesome. The tablet's not on. Hey, I was watching that. Ah, oh, so good. Okay. Weird. Oh, hey, Courtney. I finally found the perfect place to tunnel. Woohoo! I'm free! Um, actually... Check out my lovely dog! I found it at the animal library! You stole a camel from the zoo? Ha <laughs> ha! Camels aren't a real thing! My tunnel has a door? Cool! Something weird is going on. I better tell Chef. Chef, something strange is going on. <laughs> Look, I built a little track to race cars on. Right here! <laughs> Winner, winner, chicken for supper! What happened to everyone? Don't know, but if there's a grade worse than F, that's what they'll get. Gwen, you seem normal. I mean, for you. All I know is I was in my egg chair and there was a weird sound and now Owen thinks the garbage is Santa Claus. Santa, your breath smells kind of funny. Weird sound? <gasps> oh no! It must have something to do with this thing. We should call the helpline. Number's on the back of the box. Brain Strains 3000 Helpline. Hi, I used your product and it did... Has anyone poured chocolate sauce on their head and declared themselves a dessert yet? I'm a Sunday! <laughs> Does butterscotch count? Yes, it is definitely working. Thank you for purchasing the... But it didn't make me smarter. It just made everyone else... Well, less smart than they already were. That's how it works. There's no hat that can make people smarter. This isn't the future. But you are now the smartest person in that room. How do we reverse it? Yeah, we haven't figured that out yet, but our best scientists are working on it. I gotta go. If you figure out how to reverse it, uh, please call us back. This is really bad. <laughs> Boot is just a cereal bowl you wear on your feet. They're all going to fail the test because of me. Glad it's not my fault. I'd feel awful, guilty, mortified, ashamed. Okay, okay. <gasps> what if we teach them? Come on, Gwen. We can do this. Whoa. Class is in session.
In case I have to use my plan B, you should get into your egg chair. You'll be safe there. Da -da -da -da. The glass is just out here. Right this way. <laughs> <laughs> Would you believe they're just, um, learning about mud camel displacement? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna fail every one of you so hard it'll make your head... You've left me no choice! Did your plan work? Yep. No tester means no tests. Boom! Another problem solved by Courtney. This just in, people all around the world are acting a little kooky. Pictures! Now let's surf! How do you fit all the people in here? So small! How? You used it outside. So now we're the two smartest people left on Earth. I can't. I can't. Whoa. Wait. What are you doing? Do you really want to spend the rest of your life, just you and me, taking care of all of them? <laughs> I hate it when you're right. Don't worry. You and I will never be right again. <laughs> A bear on your roof. Oh. This weekend, big step we can all take to help. Stop the speed up. Jingle bells, Cody smells, but it's not his fault. Ah, the season's first snow. Okay, kids, who's ready for some? Cold. <laughs> Oh, kind of chill, huh? Well, I know someone who can put the hype back in hypothermia. Winter Wonder Man! Winter Wonder Man is a bit I do every year. <laughs> the kids love it when I dress up. When Chef dresses up, it makes my eyes barf. And Winter Wonder Man's his lamest character. By far. And you kids all know what Winter Wonder Man's all about, right? Outdoor activities! Woo! Yeah! Our first activity will challenge your reflexes and teach you about team spirit. Snowball fight! Yay! I love snowballs! <laughs> Whoops! Okay, uh, let's try some snow angels! <laughs> Go! I shouldn't have had jalapeno poppers for breakfast! Little deep, huh? Uh-oh, these outdoor activities aren't going as planned. Better bring out the big guns. Ta-da! What's wrong with you kids? How can you not be excited about a winter wonder snowman? <laughs> the class is freezing and Cody's being eaten by a penguin. You're the 12th animal I've been inside. Chef, it's just too cold to have fun outside today. Okay, okay, but Winter Wonder Man has one more trick up his onesie. No one can resist a snowman that glows. <laughs> yes, all hail Winter Wonder Man. Oh, no. Someone tell me what's happening. I'm Flaky the Snowman! <laughs> a living snowman? Sweet! Uh, 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 hold on, kids. Now, what do we say every time a toy lawn no more pinata comes to life? It probably wants to eat us. Jingle bells, no! All Flaky wants is to enjoy this marvelous winter day with you. Thank you, new best friend. Can we 
play with him, Chef? Please? But I thought you kids were too cold to be outside. Not if Flaky's here. He's so cool. Winterific. Now, who's up for a snowball fight? <laughs> now that's cold. So that Flake thinks he can outwonder Winter Wonder Man? Oh, let's see him compete with this. <laughs> hey, kids! Now that you love snow, who wants to go tobogganing? Down what? That bump? Oh, fruitcakes! Anything can be fun with a little winter magic! That's not good. Whoa! Ah, oh, sugar plums. Hey, this is kind of fun. Ew. Well, I can't beat Flaky at winter fun, but I always win at story time. The elf who fell off the shelf and never returned. Perfect. Kids, it's story time! What? Oh no! Nothing's better than a cartoon! Flaky, you're the best teacher ever! Jealous of a snowman? <laughs> of course not! I am a teaching professional! Slowly boiling alive while humans watch and laugh. And then they bring us back every winter to do it again and again and again. All right, class. Playtime's over. Everyone back inside. <laughs> Sorry, Flaky. No snow inside. School rules. <laughs> Flaky! 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 That's it. Either he goes or I go. <laughs> Well, I lost my job to a snowman. Somehow, I always knew this is how it would end. <laughs> I turned down the temperature a few degrees so you're more comfortable. Oh, how thoughtful. But how about we turn it down by all the degrees? Now to deal with you. Um, I'm not sure I like your inside games as much as the outside ones. Game? Oh, this is no game. This is revenge! Me? Revenge against two? Oh, against you, you wormos. Every winter, humans make us, and then every spring, do nothing while we melt in drippy anguish. <laughs> then our wounded souls become trapped in the cloud realm until another winter comes. We have had enough, so we planned our revenge and then waited for someone foolish enough to bring us to life. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some fellow snow colleagues to resurrect. <laughs> No shot! Ice fist! Freezer burn! Dirty Dirk! And Carl! Ooh. Ooh. Thanks a lot, Mr. Penguin! If I was out there any longer, I'd have turned into a chef's -icle. Oh, You're right. This is all my fault. <laughs> oh, what I wouldn't give to hear those sweet children's voices again. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Wait a second. Those sweet children's voices sounded like they were in trouble. I knew that frozen punk was up to no good. I mean, I had no idea, but I do now. Looks like a job for Winter Wonder Man! Ah! <laughs> How the snow tables have snow turned. <laughs> Enjoy, brothers and sisters! Today we freeze this school! Tomorrow, the world! Yeah! <laughs> Looks like spring's coming early this year. Yeah! No, no, no! 
No! Come on, kids, get in the game! Here, Owen, drink some hot sauce and do what you do best. Oh, I get it. I think I want to go home. Your teacher will bring me to life! <laughs> You'll see! He makes a good point. Maybe we shouldn't completely destroy him after all. Fine by me. I know just the place for old Flaky here. <laughs> oh, right. I guess it is kind of warm in here. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Holiday special. I am so pumped up! Assemble the family. Everyone can watch. Okay, kids, please turn to page ten in your science books. me pink eye. I'm hearing a lot of complaining and not a lot of learning. How old are these things? It says here the earth is flat. And there's a whole chapter on mermaids. Did, did you just say mermaids? Reading time's over, kids. That seemed a little extreme. Yeah, what's Chef's problem with mermaids? They're not even real. Excuse me? Mermaids are so real, I should know. I've seen every mermaid movie and read every mermaid book. Also, I got this. <laughs> it's not gonna rub off for five whole days. Whatever. We don't believe this kelp, right, guys? Tell us more, Lashana. Okay, I've tried everything to become a mermaid queen. I sleep on a waterbed. I eat nothing but shrimp. I even started kissing fish for some reverse frog prince action. Don't bother. I kissed this horse at my grandma's farm like 50 times, and I'm still not a centaur. No. Maybe I should try kissing the other end. <sighs> I guess you have to be born a mermaid. Well, I don't know about that. What about Project Bluefin? You know, there's a viral video that proves the existence of mermaids. A long time ago, the army fed their cadets bioengineered fish sticks that turned them into amazing mer soldiers. The mer soldiers were amazing in the water, but they weren't so great out of it. So the program was shut down and buried by the government. Whoa! Is that Chef? It's true. I was a mer soldier, but I swear I'm not hiding anything else from my secret army career. <laughs> you didn't think to mention your video also proves that Chef was a military mer soldier? I don't do spoilers. 
It says here there's still two boxes of fish sticks out there waiting to turn someone into a mer person. But how am I going to track down those fish sticks? They could be anywhere. Oh, smell that? Somebody's having a barbecue in France. Bingo. Hey, Owen, I need your help sniffing out some magic fish sticks. Then I'll be the most powerful mermaid queen ever! Naturally, I'll be showered in jewels. And with my aquatic army, I'll turn all the taps on, flood the planet, and turn it into a water world. And as my trusted ally, you will be second in command and reap all the spoils of my... Whoa, whoa, whoa. You had me at fish sticks. I can't believe the answer to all my mermaid dreams was in the school freezer the whole time. No kidding. Talk about convenient. Okay, so the instructions say it's super important to only eat half a box. Any more can result in... Mmm, fishy. Owen! I feel bloated. Well, here goes. Shell Tiara, pearl earrings, yeah! I'm fully accessorized! <gasps> what have you done, Lashana? Don't you mean Queen Lashana, majestic mermaid ruler of the seven seas? And is that Owen? <laughs> yep, definitely Owen. Did you eat all my army fish sticks? I was trying to. Oh, I never should have kept those things. What's the big deal, Chef? Being a mermaid is amazing. No, it's not. First, your flippers always smell like fish. <laughs> Better than how my feet used to smell. And the scales are very itchy. Still worth it. You don't understand. The longer you stay a mermaid, the harder it is to reverse the side effects. Like these. <laughs> Okay, those gills are so gross. On you. But on me, they'll look great. And anyway, I'm never going back to being a human that hardly anybody worships. So step aside, two legs. <clears throat> Storming out is going to look a lot cooler when I'm in the ocean. songs now? I'm gonna be an undersea star. I'm gonna be the queen of the ocean. Ditch all my friends, bid them au revoir. Cause I'm in line for a big promotion. Warriors. That's right, I'm going to be the score. A mermaid for love. Did you see that? I literally blew them away. Mermaiding rules. That's it. I'm calling the army. Oh no, the army's just gonna try to stop me from achieving my destiny. I've gotta get to the sea as fast as I love. This could take a while. You got this, Mr. President. Just pick the biggest missile and hit sand. Holy water. I'll stop her. She'll never oh reveal our fishy secrets to the world. Never! Eat juice box, army man. Oh, no. oh really? Owen, do what you do best. On it! Uh, wow, that was amazing! And stinky. Guys, you gotta help me get to the sea. Only then can I reach my true destiny as a mermaid queen. We're almost there. Oh, oh, oh no, look. We'll never make it now. Have a little faith. I'm a mermaid queen. This other sweet mermaid powers I got. <laughs> you did it. Come on, Lashana. Trust me, you don't want to do this. Yes, I do. Get me. <coughs> oh, no, stay back, Lashana. I care about you too much to see you throw your legs away. And I am not giving up my Saturdays. We'll never make it to the water. we got to find a bathtub stat. Uh, that won't work. It has to 
be the ocean? Or a magical shimmering waterfall at the very least? Hey, guys! Guys? Ah! It's Dan! Ooh, strawberry or raspberry? Shauna, wait! Are you sure this is really what you want? Think of everything you'll miss on land, like ice cream. And you know you'll miss my sweet ninja moves. hi I'll go! Yep, I'm good. Later, two legs. And just like that, they never saw her again. <gasps> Why didn't you guys tell me the ocean is so cold and gross? Ew! What was I thinking? Change me back, change me back, change me back! Gills would look great on me. Well done, Private Chef. At least that's one fish who didn't slip through our net. What about the other half box of fish sticks? Don't worry. They are perfectly safe in a high secure containment unit. <laughs> Beef jerky? My favorite. <laughs> a building. I hate cartoons. You turn that back on or else! Or else what? How can any of you stand the sound of Chinchilli's voice? It makes my brain want to jump into a volcano. Listen up! Chinchilli is the single best thing to ever happen! He's my friend and I love him! Um, you do know that he's a cartoon, right? As in, not real. You monster! Whoa there, that's enough. Cartoons might not be real, but they are magical. And we'll learn all about how they're made on our surprise trip to the studio that makes Chinchilla Chinchilla! No <laughs> way! I can't believe I'm going to meet the real Chinchilla! Yeah, she's not getting it. <laughs> can't be here. Permission to wait on the bus? Come on now, Gwen. Give it a chance. The tour's about to start. That's right. Hi, I'm Brightly. I'll be your guide today. Do you kids have any burning questions to start us off? Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Me! Oh! oh! Question. Is Chinchilli real? What? Of course not. Who said that? Did someone say that? Whoever said that is a filthy liar. <laughs> I brought the kids here because... One of them doesn't understand that cartoons are actually made by real people. Oh, phew. I thought... Never mind. I figured if we met the animators or the voice actors, that might... Maybe later. But for now, who wants to watch some chin chili clips that were considered too violent for TV? <laughs> Follow me! <laughs> Told you he wasn't real. What does she know? She's just a tour guide. Chin chili is real! I can feel I've never juggled chainsaws before, <laughs> but what could go wrong? <laughs> this is going to be way harder with one arm. Super gory, but I still hate it. Is Chinchilli okay, though? Has someone checked on him? You hear that? She still thinks cartoons are real. Yeah, we're gonna need her to stop thinking that. Exactly. 
Now, I understand that the animators are actually working, but could we meet a... <sighs> writer? Ho, ho! Who's the tour guide here? You kids want to see all our chin chili toys? Come on! Yay! Put me down! Yay! I'm gonna go hide in the bathroom until it's time to leave. Not me. I need to find Chinchilli to see if he's okay after that video. Ugh. You know what? I actually want to be there when you discover the truth. So let's go find Chinchilli together. <laughs> Welcome to our Chinchilli warehouse where we keep all of our Chinchilli toys packed up and ready to ship. Do you have Chinchilli's helium filled novelty pillow? <laughs> How about his Ninja Star Cowboy hat? What about Chinchilli's all-terrain military vehicle? As a token of how much we appreciate our fans, your class can take one toy from our reject box. Ah! Hey, look! I'm Chinchilli! No fair! I want to turn! Let me try! Don't worry about that. You can pay with debit or credit. Oh, boy. Da -da -da -da. This doesn't look like somewhere Chinchilli would hang out. Why would this place even need a security system? <laughs> I know that laugh. It's coming from over there. It's Chinchilli! Spent my life savings on busted up tours just to show kids how brightly. Can we please see how they make the cartoons now? That is certainly not what is next on our tour. This is the studio's three-story slide. It reminds us of our commitment to joy and childlike wonder. Can I slide down it? Oh, no, 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 no. It's far too dangerous for an actual human. <laughs> Uh-oh. We'll need to fix that wall. Will that be cash or credit? <laughs> Chinchilli's laugh was coming from inside here. I know it. Stop. This area is off limits. Why does a cartoon studio need an armed guard? Are you suggesting Chinchilli is real and we used an interdimensional portal to pull him from a cartoon universe into our world where we're forcing him to entertain children while dangling the false promise that someday we'll let him return home to his... <gasps> family? That was... Extremely specific. All hands to the lobby. Another kid got injured going down the slide. Uh, I need to go, but you two stay out of this room. <gasps> Chinchilli! Oh, is it time to shoot a cartoon? I'm ready. Let's do it. <laughs> I told you he was real. I saw you juggling those mean chainsaws and I was so worried. Oh, you don't need to worry about me. Especially because today is my last day of filming! Again! Again? Uh-huh. I've been living at the studio for five years and every day they tell me, Today's the day you get to go home. They say it every day and they said it again this morning. And I believe them! So, you're a prisoner here? A prisoner? <laughs> no, that would mean that they'll never let me... Oh, no! <laughs> what do we do, Gwen? We have to help Chinchilla. Oh, Ugh, okay. I think I know where they're hiding the portal. Come on. Brightly, this is the worst tour we've ever been on. You showed us violent cartoons, drained my bank account, broke all of Cody's bones. Not my brain bone. And you still haven't taught us anything about how cartoons get made. We're gonna go find some animators right now. There are secrets at this studio that must never be uncovered. <gasps> Two of the kids are missing. So you're all under tour guide's arrest until we find those filthy stragglers. Nuh-uh. I'm done being pushed around. Kids, do what you do best. Ruin everything. Isn't she a beaut? I can't believe it! I'm finally going home! Oh, 
Oh, no, you are not. Step away from the portal, Chinchilli. You belong to us. Ms. Brightly, please. You have to let Chinchilli go. I love Chinchilli, and I'd miss his show more than anyone, but it's not right to keep him trapped here. Won't you help us get him back to his world? To his family? Please! Just look at him! He's so sad! You're right. What have we become? Hurry, the guards will be here any second. Chinchilli, get in the portal. I'll enter the coordinates. I... I don't know what to say. You three have saved my life. I'll always... Oh! 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 My animated ribs! <laughs> <sighs> he was funny right up until the end. And now he's home. He's safe. Hey, Beth, I'm glad to be home, but I'm sorry you're trapped here now. Yeah, but on the plus side, I get to hang out with my new BFF! <laughs> and I guess it worked out perfectly for all of us! Hello? Hello? If you can see me, you have to get me out of here. Everything is made of rainbows. Cartoons are real. Do you hear me? Cartoons? Coming up next. to blow up Chef's car, and then I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Please, <clears throat> please tell us what you're going to ask Santa for. <laughs> <laughs> What's your problem, Courtney? I think she finds it funny that you think you're on Santa's nice list. Good kids who aren't nice go on the naughty list. Face it, Duncan. You're naughty. Ha! Me? Naughty? Prove it! Should I keep going? No problem. I'll just be super good today and boom! Off the naughty list. Easy as taking candy from a baby. What's with this baby? Oh, I'll never finish Castle Cody. Allow me. Ooh. Being nice is hard. Ugh. I need a new plan. What if there was no naughty list? All I gotta do is hack Santa's computer and delete it. But how will I get to the North Pole? Kids, time for arts and crafts. Ooh, that gives me an idea. Nice reindeer, Izzy. Oh, great garland, Courtney. Cool snowman, Cody. It's a spooky ghost. Oh, you're a confused little fella. What are you making, Duncan? A nice card for Santa. Ah, Duncan, no! You can't send this to Santa. You'll be in big, big trouble. I was? Yes, shred and buried in the woods, quick. You never know when he's watching. Okay, I'll get rid of it. And now for phase two of my plan. <laughs> Chef, I think I did something stupid. I believe that. What'd you do? Instead of shredding and burying that card, I accidentally mailed it to Santa. What? What are we going to do? We got no choice. Come on. Kids, emergency situation. We got to head to the North Pole right now. Should we put on winter coats and mittens, thereby changing all of our character designs? Oh, we don't have the budget for that. This is going to be a long and dangerous journey. Let's move. 
That was a long and dangerous journey, but we made it. Wait, where's Cody? <laughs> for the last time, the kids are not for eating, Tammy. There, now we all blend in. Are we gonna see Santa now? No, do not go looking for Santa. Aww. This is a stealth mission. I just need to find the mail room and destroy Duncan's letter. You kids wait right here till I get back. No shenanigans. Whoa, Santa's reindeer must be over that way. Let's go! Um, Chef said to wait here. <laughs> to delete a naughty list. Da 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 da, spy chef. Da da da. Oh, uh, hi. I'm new. Just heading to the mail room, which is. Thank. <clears throat> Thank you. Oh, finally! I called upstairs for a bathroom break over an hour ago. That's why I'm here. Good. I got a present to drop off. <laughs> oh, it's gonna take forever to find Duncan's letter. Well, better get to it. Chef won't be in the mailroom long, so I better get hacking. Hold it right there, pal. Who are you and what are you doing? I'm here for a systems check. Holiday police are worried Santa's naughty list could get hacked. Dude. I've been telling Santa we need a better firewall for years now. Let me show you everything. Please do. Yeah! There they are! Oh, oh, no, wait. wait. This is a stealth mission. Do <laughs> not go into the... <sighs> They're in the pen. Aww. They're so amazing. Aren't you cutie? You're like a horsey with head branches. Why are you misbehaving? You're all going to be in big trouble with Santa. Are pretty cute. Look, oh, let's feed the reindeer. Well, I guess there's no harm in feeding them. I found it. This looks like Duncan's writing. Better be sure. You don't want to rip up some other kid's letter to Santa. <laughs> yes, this is Duncan. Ah! No, 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 no. Oh! <laughs> this is it. The naughty list. So you see the security flaw, right? Yes, um, as if some naughty kid wanted to delete this list forever, he just have to... Just hit Control-Alt-Unnaughty and poof, it's gone! Totally unacceptable that someone could delete it by just doing this! Ah, why'd you do that, man? Cause I am the naughty kid, sucker! <laughs> Joke's on you, bucko. Santa has a master list he keeps with him at all times. And you are in big trouble. Oh, man. Oh, that did not go as planned. But at least I'm off the hook with Santa. Oh, 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 oh I don't think so. Who's a good little reindeer? Yeah, that's who. <laughs> These bags say feed reindeer these magic oats on Christmas Eve only. Nothing's happening. Feed me! Uh-oh. Yeah, this is bad. Okay, I need to find Santa, tell him what happened, and that I told you not to do it. I'm guessing there with you. Freddy made us do it. <gasps> hey, where's Duncan? Okay, uh, let me explain what happened. Save it for Santa. My guess is you're all going on the naughty list. Permanently. Oh, no! I'm not going down for this. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. What were you thinking? These kids are bad. But I never do wrong. I didn't want to. I told them not to. I'm an that. angel. Oh, oh, hold on. Actions have consequences. You're all going on the naughty list. <gasps> what? No! You're, 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 you're big, red-bearded tomato! Ah! I'm sorry, I'm sorry I said that. <laughs> I'll 
start with Courtney. Wait! Something to say, Duncan? <sighs> I tricked my teacher into bringing us here so I could hack your computer system and delete my name from the naughty list. Oh, I see. So, you can blame me. But they shouldn't miss out on Christmas because of what I did. Duncan, I'm impressed. You really are a very honest and kind little boy. Can we edit out what Santa just said about me being kind? It'll totally ruin my street cred. <sighs> I just don't want my friends to have a lousy Christmas because of me, okay? You are going on the nice list for the first time ever. And they get to stay on the nice list too, right? Oh, no. They started a fire and let my reindeer go, and instead of telling the truth, they tried to blame each other. That's naughty. Uh, <sighs> Worst Christmas ever. Oh, are you sure about that? Think fast. Who <laughs> oh, controlled soccer ball? Yep. <laughs> ah, I hate acting jolly. So here. A beehive. Awesome. My junior executive desktop organizer. Duncan, how did you get all this stuff? I used my Christmas wishes for stuff you wanted. And don't get sappy. You know, Duncan, you might belong on the nice list after all. You might not feel that way in a second. Huh? Another new Total Drama Rama holiday special. I am so pumped up! Assemble the family. Everyone can watch TV together and be buddies. You can have mine. Yes! I love you, Glenn! You. But it won't be ready till afternoon snack. So let's all head over to the carpet for story time. What? Afternoon snack? But that's not until... He went to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Mississippi, two, Mississippi, three. This afternoon! No! And so the third little guinea pig built his house out of... Is it time for Jiggle Giggle yet? No, Owen, it won't be for a while. Now, as I was saying, the third little guinea pig built his house out of... A teaspoon of Jiggle and a whole cup of Giggle and... Owen! Right, sorry, my bad. Come on, guys, who knows what the third little guinea pig used to build his house? Hmm, Jiggle Giggle? Oh, yeah, that's it. The third little guinea pig built his house out of bricks. Probably bricks of Jiggle Giggle. No! No more Jiggle Giggle talk. 145 will be here soon enough. Now everyone zip it so we can find out what happens to these stinking guinea pigs. Come on, 145. 
I can't take it anymore. There's got to be a 145 button in here somewhere. Well, looks like Chef gets to buy a new clock. Lucky. Hey, maybe he can find one that makes timeouts go faster. Make time go faster. Oh, that's it. Hello? Matt, it's your cousin Owen. Can I borrow your time machine? Of course. I'm express shipping my prototype as we speak. But I do have one serious warning. Oh, time machine's here. Gotta go. Wow. According to the manual, this thing flies, bends space-time, and even has light-up cup holders. But what we'll need to be super precise inputting our coordinates. Harold, if video games have taught us anything, it's that mashing buttons always get you where you need to go. No! Or when are we? Oh, we're in pioneer times. Well, that explains why we're out of gas. So we get to play with the dinosaurs! Yay! Uh, all right, Izzy. But, but seriously, guys, we have to keep a low profile. Anything we disturb in the past could have major consequences in our timeline continuum. Giggle, giggle! <gasps> no, not here. <laughs> hey, Cody, good to see you, pal. So, Chef served the Jiggle Giggle yet? Uh, Owen, does Cody not seem a little different to you? I guess his breath smells a little better than usual. Greetings, brother. Name is Dunkadiah, and that's Judadiah and Brigidiah. What be your purpose here? Oh, we're just here for dessert. Well then, luck be your friend. Today we're having apples. Don't mess with me, man. We're here for the jiggle giggle. Jiggle giggle? Never heard of it. Your butt mashing sent us into the distant past, Owen. By my calculations, jiggle giggle won't even be invented for 73 years. I see. Oh. Wake up. I just had the worst dream. There was no jiggle giggle, and everything was old timey, and you were there, and you were there, and. Oh, crud, it wasn't a dream. Sorry, Owen, but at least Harold's out finding fuel to get us home. Okay, so in the meantime, we just have to invent jiggle giggle. Right, except we don't even know what's in it. Don't we? For emergencies, I have the jiggle giggle ingredients listed on my undies. Glucose, fructose, sucrose, maltose, gelatin, and red dye number 40. Wait. Thank Wish me luck, fair Judadaya. My journey will be a long and grueling one. If I fail to return, don't let Izzy near my stuff. Now, to the general store! Yeah. Welcome to Ye Old General Store. Wow, that was fast. Next time, feel free to use our newest invention, the door. All right, then. I'll need... Glucose. Yes. Fructose. Good. Sucrose. Uh-huh. Maltose. Right. Gelatin. Yep. And red dye number 40. Okay, we have none of that. And I'm pretty sure you're a witch. <laughs> Demon, be gone! Thought you were a witch, huh? They thought I was one too! No idea why! She's a witch. <gasps> Stuff's actually really common. They probably just have different names for it in the past. Ha! Why didn't you kids just tell me you needed melty cow bone goo and sweet beet squeezins in the first place? So we've got everything we need? Not quite. Red dye number 40 is going to be impossible to find. Nearly impossible. Turns out the time machine runs on this stuff. Well, that's convenient. Yeah, and I managed to extract just enough from a local deposit to get us back to our own time. Also convenient. But there isn't any more for a thousand miles. Ugh, who's writing this stuff? 
It's actually a really funny story. See, no! We don't have time for a flashback. Wait, so you're telling me I have to choose between getting home and getting Jiggle Giggle? Mm. That's a tricky one. Um, is it? It's our only way home, Owen! Plus, they use goats for everything here! Goat tractors, goat taxis, even goat dentists! And I'm not getting flossed by a goat! I mean, not again. <sighs> I guess you're right. Psych! Jiggle Giggle for life! We gotta catch him! No chance. He's powered by Jiggle Giggle fever now. Add a teaspoon of Giggle and a whole jar of Giggle. <laughs> We need to make a substitute dessert and give it to Owen before he uses all the fuel. On it. It's got corn pone, molasses, hardtack, and, of course, leeches for a little thing. Well, it's definitely no jiggle giggle. Ugh. Yeah. It's more like sloppy ploppy. Hey, that sloppy ploppy is for Owen. Go on now. Get <laughs> Just disrespected our mayor. Your mayor's a goat? Uh, should that be a dinosaur's job? <sighs> Fine. So what's our punishment? <laughs> Catapult. Great. Please stand for the honorable judge. Ta-da! What? You guys have a stinking goat as your mayor and your judge? Can't let my friends get catapulted. Oh, but I'll never get them in time. Wait, I got time. The judge says since you truly meant no harm and clearly were unfamiliar with our ways, he has reached his verdict. Guilty. What? what? No what? wait. Ah! Anybody want to go back to the present? Yes. <laughs> It's time for your favorite dessert, everyone. Tarnation! We did it, you guys! We're just in time for snack! Wait! Where'd you kids come from? Whoa, whoa, whoa! That doesn't look like Jiggle Giggle. Huh, never heard of it. This is everyone's favorite dessert. Sloppy Floppy! <laughs> That's a shame. <laughs> But I guess we got off pretty lucky if dessert is the only thing we messed up on our time travels. Okay, who's ready to go outside for recess? Kids use the trash cans like I asked. Um, cause it's way easier to just throw it on the floor. Sorry, Chef. Kids make messes with us. Clean them up. That's the circle of life. <sighs> <gasps> I told you this would attract bears. Didn't I say that? Uh huh. We don't listen. Go on, get out of here. Get. That is it. You kids need to start taking on more responsibility. <laughs> I'm serious. I think it's time to introduce my incentive program. <laughs> this is the Good For Me sticker board. Horrible name. Changing firmly established negative habits requires cognitive behavioral therapy, not stickers. Not even these stickers? <laughs> Every time you finish a helpful task, you earn one shiny gold star sticker. Woohoo! I won! 
was just an example. This sticker game is total cred. Stickers are childish and materialistic. Shouldn't the inner pride of performing a good deed be reward enough? Way to go, Courtney. Boom. You're in the lead. Way to make the rest of us look lazy. There's nothing left to clean. What else can I clean? Anyone else feel like there's no air in here? If you're finally done, do you want to play a game of I'm a donkey, you're a donkey? <gasps> I'll take that as a no. <laughs> Chef, I just insulated the attic. Surely that's worth a sticker. Courtney, I'm impressed. But there's no room on the board for more stickers. I can make another sticker board. That will also earn me a sticker. I know. I'll just wear the stickers. Yeah, like a general. Well... Sticker me. Right here. Do it. Do it. Stick the sticky sticker to me. Okay, okay. Bye. Um, seems like she's taking this a little too far. You mowed the lawn, did the laundry, planted flowers, reorganized my files, tested all the fire extinguishers. None of them worked, by the way. I know, and they're also extremely flammable. But there's nothing left to do. You've done it all. No, there's gotta be more stuff. There has to be. If you can find it, you can do it. Chef, I just saved you $4,000 on your taxes. Oh, I just made your car super awesome. <laughs> My car. Woo. Hey, Chef, I painted the cake here. It looks exactly the same. Not the ceiling. <gasps> it's beautiful. I might be spending the entire school budget on stickers, but hey, you deserve it. <laughs> nice bird call, Izzy. Here's a sticker. Yay! Cody, why is your finger in your nose? I'm touching my bridal lobe. Whoa, that's part of the brain. Good for you. Here's a sticker. Yay! I paint you a masterpiece, and you hand out stickers for whistling and nose picking. You just described exactly what I did. You get another star. I, 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 did you just... I, I can't believe... Oh, yeah! Ow. Ow. Whoa, this girl's about to lose control. Time to pull the reset lever. Oh, this is bad. When the rules aren't fair, there are no rules. So why work hard if I can get stickers the easy way? <laughs>
<sighs> hey, Chef, your lame sticker board was a bad idea. Wrong. This place has never been cleaner, and my car's looking so sweet, it's turning heads like a potter's wheel. But Courtney's out of control. You have to do something. All I'm doing is putting some tea bags on my eyes, cranking up my whale sounds, and taking a nap. But Chef! It's up to us to snap Courtney out of her madness. The only way to do it is by destroying the stickers. You mean, at least stickers? <gasps> you took them? Hey, if you wear tea bags on your eyes, people are allowed to steal your stuff. Okay, let's... Don't worry, stickers. No one will take you from me. No one. Come on, guys. The furnace is this way. Ever notice that when Courtney has an issue, we all have to solve it? Oh, yeah. I know, right? Just like that Izzy girl. You are that girl, Izzy. Where's Izzy? What do you mean, Ben? Lobes. What do your brain needs today? Help! My little girl! Losing it! Pulled reset lever, but broke! Okay, that's a serotonin 6H30. Aisle 4. Thanks! This is way too dangerous for us! Let's risk Cody! But if it's too dangerous, won't I get... Cody, there's no time to discuss! Harold, suit him up! <laughs> I'm a star! Just like on the top of a Christmas tree. Jingle star, jingle star, jingle all the way. I love rock and roll music. Ah! <laughs> Why is Christmas so scary this year? Ah! Ah! I can't hold on much longer. My doctor says I have weak wrists. Come on, Duncan. You're okay now. And we'll never let you have stickers again. Thanks, guys. I'm just glad no one got hurt. Oh. Hey, kids. Since Courtney saved me so much money on my taxes, I bought everybody subs. <laughs> and look, for every sub I bought, I got a gold star. If I collect 10, I get a free assorted 12-inch. Gum? What gum? How dare you? Gum! I can't stop my mouth from talking! 
Fine. We'll give you some gum, but you gotta keep it quiet. Here. Big Chomp Chew, the most genetically enhanced gum in the universe? I've never tried this kind before, or any other gum. You never do gum? But I totally know how it works. Are you sure? Yes, I swear. I've seen all the gum commercials on TV. I never skip the commercials. I sure hope you don't. Advertising is what pays for television production. Anyway, the gum goes in your mouth, you chew it, and swallow it. Uh, wrong. Gum's for chewing, not swallowing. But swallowing is the best part of eating things. That's how you know you did it right. You need to trust us on this one. Chew it. Just chew it. Okay. Whoa. Chipper that you chose to chew. I am your strawberry gum guy, Chakai. Come! Chew, 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 chew. Chew, 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 chew. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this is sweet. <laughs> yes, gum is sweet. <laughs> Chicken noodle soup while riding a horse. It's another close race today as almost unicorn and hot fudge Monday sprint to the finish line. But coming up from the rear, it's hot chicken soup boy. Hot? Ouch, so hot. I can't believe it. He's taking the lead. At the finish line, it's hot chicken soup boy for the win. I want free glue for a whole year. <laughs> anyway, I think I can handle it. my show and tell pets in my lunchbox but the camel spider is so big it needs a shoe box <laughs> camel spider why is it called that that's a funny story actually <laughs> maybe you had to be there so want to see him empty huh where's my spider That's probably him. Help! 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 The spider was on the toilet! Like it was using it! Then it flushed! And it washed its hands! Owen, oh, you know the rules! No running with spiders on your face! <laughs> okay, that's better. This is honestly the best thing I've ever seen! <laughs> Way to scare my spider, Owen. Ugh, where'd he go? Lestat, Lestat. You okay, Owen? I think so. <gasps> my gum! <laughs> what? I can't find it. Oh, it was fun while it lasted. But I guess I swallowed it. <laughs> what? Is that bad? Yes! Why? What happens if you swallow gum? Cody, lights! I'll tell you what happens when you swallow gum. 
It just sits in your tummy until you pass gas. It creates a bubble that grows so big you get trapped inside of it. Oh, it really smells in here. And you live forever in your own fart balloon that gets collected by Gaston de Derriere, the French clown. Not French. Don't worry, Owen. She's wrong. Oh, I'll tell you what happens when you swallow gum. Cody! The gum you swallow grows and grows inside your belly. <laughs> then you give birth to a gum baby. <laughs> the baby grows up and uses all of your money to go to gum college. And never calls anymore. Oh. But when your gum baby graduates, it can't find a job. So it moves back home and eats pizza in your basement until you snap and scream, Get a job and either move out or start paying rent! Oh no! Where did I go wrong with my gum baby? Beth and Lashana are both wrong. I'll tell you what really happens when you swallow gum. Ooh, this is gonna be good! When you swallow gum, it travels through your body, taking over all your cells, turning you into a... <laughs> giant piece of gum. With every breath, you expand it. Bigger and bigger until you pop. And anyone who gets gum in them when you explode suffers the same fate. Great job, Owen! Now we're all goners! But I didn't know that when I started chewing! This is so unfair! No one ever said gum was fair. Oh, I think I'm starting to change! Is it happening to me right now? The early signs are nervous sweats, excessive nail biting, and farting. Oh, I know! I've got two of those! Make that three! What do I do, Gwen? It's too late to save yourself. But to keep others safe, you've just got to jump to the bottom of the Great Gum Volcano. How could we never notice that before? I really feel like gum should have a warning on the label or something. I mean, these are serious consequences. Uh, I wish I'd never tried gum in the first place. <laughs> Actually, can I get a piece for the road? Owen! <laughs> Where's Owen going? He swallowed gum, so we told him he had to jump into the great gum volcano to protect the rest of us. You told him to what? I am so proud of you. Yes, sir, That's what we do with kids who swallow gum. Who wants pudding? Yeah! I just can't finish the 15th pudding knowing Owen's turning into gum and it's gonna explode! What? Owen would have wanted us to eat this pudding! Hey guys, I found gum! Free gum! And someone even chewed it for me! <gasps> Owen didn't swallow his gum! <gasps> it must have fallen out of his mouth and stuck to his bear! He's jumping in a volcano for nothing?! Hilarious! We have to stop him! Come on! You swallowed your gum, huh? Join us! Hot, hot, hot! Hurry! I don't feel like I'm turning to gum. No, Owen. That's the gum talking. Oh, sure. Blame me. There's only one way to keep my friends safe. So here goes. Owen! Wait! You didn't swallow your gum! It fell out of your mouth while you were screaming like a coward about Gwen Spider. And it stuck to Barry! <gasps> so I'm not gonna turn into a giant gum bubble and explode? <gasps> Woohoo! <laughs> <Yippee -yo! laughs> oh no! No is right! Yeah, way to go! Thanks, Duncan! Little help here! Oh, right! <laughs> and I was a gunner for sure! But Duncan saved him. Yep. Duncan is sweeter than pudding. <laughs> Sometimes I hate how awesome I am. Well, I'm glad it all worked out. Hey, uh, where'd you get that bump on your arm, Owen? Oh, I think Gwen Spider bit me. <gasps> Why are you gasping? Is that bad? What happens when a spider bites you? I'll tell you what happens when a spider bites you. Here we go again!
February 15th with limited commercial interruption on your Cartoon Network. Oh, kids. Hello, children. I'm Farmer Sam. Ah, stranger danger. Hey, hey. Just, ow, oh, kids. Tell Cody that it's... Wait, wait, it's me. See? Anyway, what Farmer Chef was going to ask is, does anyone know where vegetables come from? Oh, 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 oh! Yes, Beth? Who cares? Wrong. All plants, including vegetables, come from seeds. I think vegetables are bad for you. You think wrong. And today, you're all getting your own seedlings to grow. Yay! Yes! Finally, a chance to prove I really can take care of a living thing. What happened last time was a total accident. Hizzy, great work this week. You're the best egg sitter in the class. Yeah! Who's the egg man? I'm the egg man! Go, 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 baby! Yep. <laughs> Could have happened to a fan. I bet my seedling is going to grow into a rare and priceless orchid. I hope my seed turns into a pizza plant. I'm growing an elephant. Remember, all plants need to grow is a little sunshine and water. Everyone knows the magic ingredient to take care of something is love. And I'm going to love this plant so stinking hard. Oh, don't worry, Izzy Jr. I have bad wipeouts all the time, and I'm fine. Somebody love by making them drink boring old water. You do it with root beer. This stuff's gotta be good for plants. I mean, it's got root pride in the name. Hey, Chef, something went wrong with Izzy Jr. Can I have a new one? Of course, Izzy, but remember, all this little guy needs is... Water and sunshine? Got it. <laughs> if a little sunshine's okay, then a lot of sunshine should be even better. What happened this time? I blame global warming. Wow, Izzy, you sure are good with plants. She said sarcastically. <laughs> well, third time's a charm, right, Chef? Are you not uh, letting go? Uh, 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 it feels like you're not letting go. Uh, uh. Just try to take it easy with this one. Relax. Great idea. Nothing's more relaxing than a vacation. Okay, Izzy, number four. Remember to hold your breath when you bail. Here's your next customer. Who doesn't love a bike ride? Don't worry, I'm not giving up. <sighs> okay, but this is the last seedling. Make it count. You got it. Da, 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 da. Okay, Izzy 12, we can't take any more chances. Time to get some professional help at the Pseudoscience Superstar. Welcome, fellow spaceship Earth passenger. My name is Alchemy. How may I be of service? No matter how much love I give my plants, they're not growing. Then you need this super fertilizer made from the poop of a thousand screaming goats raised in a secret Shaolin temple in Ohio. Did you do any field tests? Hey, what are you going to believe? A bunch of scientific tests? Or my blog on the internet? <gasps> if it's on the internet, it has to be real! Okay, nice work, Owen. Well done, Cody. See how big his tusks are getting? Oh, you're confused about everything, aren't you? If my arms were legs, these would be feet. Well, looks like Courtney's plant is growing the fastest. I think we all expected me to win. Wow, Izzy, this is excellent. Yes! Whoa. Looks like you have the greenest thumb in class after all. Nice job. <laughs> Did it, number 12! High five! Whoa! There 
There'll be none of that. I did not phrase a biter. You just earned a time out, bub. Now, I want you to sit here and think about what you've done. Hello. Nice to meet you. That's Paul. He's been in time out for a hundred years. Do not talk to him. He smells like prunes. Da -da 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 -da. Hey, I want to talk to you about your freakishly giant plant. No time. I'm making Easy 12 a nice card to show her how much she's loved. Oh, there. Done. Okay, Easy 12, your time out is over. <clears throat> Easy 12, did you eat Paul? Oh. oh, no. Then what is that? Huh? Oh. <laughs> you did. You can't eat people no matter how old and tender they are. Bad plan. Uh. I'm taking this special goat soil back to the store. Uh -oh. Oh, uh, uh, hang on now. Uh, we're friends. Remember? I, I helped you grow. You have to listen to me. Prune breath. Spit that out. Okay, good plan. Yeah! <sighs> okay, Izzy, what's wrong with your plant now? Take a look, bud. <laughs> Great. This is my life now. I live inside a plant. You guys, my plant's a monster. Yeah, 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 we heard. And we found this and added some to our own plants. Now your plant won't be the only special one. <gasps> Courtney, no! Guys, you don't understand! <laughs> Well, I have a whole new respect for vegans. It's okay. We'll be fine. Chef will rescue us. Uh, actually... Well, this is boring. Oh, wait, I got a harmonica in my pocket. <gasps> We're all gonna be plant food! Not necessarily. There's one person here that's better at taking out plants than anyone else we know. Who? Me? I wasn't trying to hurt those plants. I was just trying to show them love. Oh. Okay, I'll teach you everything I know. Well, hello, plant monsters. Now, I know you guys might not be used to getting a lot of attention because of, you know, the gross way you look and uh, the whole eating people thing. But we're here to change that. So get ready for more love than you can handle. You guys must be thirsty. Have some friends there. That's right. We gave you life and we can take it away. Ah! It's lit. Photosynthesize this. Elephants are mean. Right. Everybody likes a good hug. Ew! I'll never eat a salad again. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I've never eaten a salad. Well, aren't you a handsome devil? I can't wait to give you a hug. <laughs> Nobody messes with my kids! Ha! <laughs> Looks like plants aren't so tough after all! Ch 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 It's regenerating! <laughs> Sorry, pal, but it's time for a serious pruning! But I thought only love defeated the monsters. Eh, love, lawnmower, same thing. Yay! <laughs> See, Chef, I told you vegetables are bad. And you were right. With luck, 
None of us will ever have to see another plant as long as we live. very expensive and frames your face perfectly. <laughs> Cut it out, you. Cody, is that a toy from home? You know that's against the rules. But, Chef, Buddy isn't just a toy. He's my new best friend. I finally have a friend. Aw, that's the saddest thing I ever heard. Now put it in your cubby or it goes in the trash. Well, if I can't spend the day with Buddy, can I spend it with you? On second thought, keep the doll. Yay! No way! You own one of those buddy things? <laughs> that reeks of desperation! You couldn't be wronger. Buddy's the best buddy, just like it says in the commercial. Don't listen to him, Cody. Yeah, Duncan's just jealous because thanks to Buddy, you technically have more friends than him now. Oh, no! I don't have a robot doll friend filled with pre-recorded compliments he'll say to anyone who presses a button on its plastic torso! I'm super jealous! <gasps> he admitted it! Um, it's called snarcasm? Sheesh! I need to poop. Can you watch Buddy for me? I don't want anything to happen to him. Sure! Okay. Thanks! He's so precious. He means everything to me. I'd be lost without him. He's my best friend. My poop's starting. I should go. We'll keep him safe. Oh, no, oh, no! Buddy is so real. It's kind of creepy. You complete me. Oh, I see why Cody likes this guy. Let me try. If only Candy were as sweet as you. Hot diggity! It's a shot of self-esteem right to my gut! Give me more! You gotta be kidding me! No way was that enjoyable! I'll always have your back, bro. Huh. That actually felt good. You look great today. Today? What do you mean today? You saying there are days I don't look good? Huh? Huh? Easy, Duncan. I don't think Buddy meant it that way. Fine. I'll give him one more chance. This better be good. Oh, no. Playing with you is fun. Oh, shoot. I thought that was going to go real bad. That kind of real bad? Yeah. Hey, that's Dr. Baby Magnet Face. Toddler scientist who gained Magnet Face abilities in a freak accident and used his powers to fight crime. Get off of him. Time flies when I'm with you. Or that kind of real bad. Yeah. You're my best friend. Oh, no. No, no, no. Speak to me, buddy. Speak to me. He's gone. You destroyed him. Him and his sweet, sweet words. You owe Cody a big apology. Me? He asked you two to watch his doll, so in a way, this is all your fault. He's right. But he broke on our watch. How are we going to tell Cody? We won't have to. I can fix this. Oh, now I see the problem. I have no idea what I'm doing. What? 
I say we jump a train and hightail it out of town. <laughs> it's too late. What do we do? I have an idea. Just go with it. Oh, no, stop. Thanks for watching, buddy. Hey, where's Beth? I'm in here. Beth had to go. It's just me and Buddy here. Right, Buddy? Okay. Why are we talking so loud? Is my Nana here? Oh, was I talking loud? Sorry. Hey, let's see what Buddy has to say. You're such a good friend. Aw, thanks, Buddy. Let's go play. You're coming too, genius. Oh, um, okay. This sure is fun. Right, buddy? Uh, your tea parties are straight fire. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's a new one. Here, buddy, have hot tea. No way, Cody, that'll burn her. God damn. Don't worry, Chef wouldn't let me boil water to make tea, so this is just hot sauce. Bottoms up. Oh, help me. I think Buddy needs something to cool it down. Maybe some honey. <laughs> Uh-oh. Honey attracts animals. <laughs> yeah! Yay! Chubby Kitty Dance Party! <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I have an idea. Be right back. Oh, that was scary, but you did great. Way to go, Beth. Get me out of this thing. Ready for more fun? Oh, we sure are. Great, because I just built a new ramp for us to play with. <gasps> when did you build this? You were only gone for two seconds. I'm a good constructioneer. <sighs> Ready, buddy? Uh, maybe Buddy doesn't want to do this. Maybe she'd, he'd rather nap. Or get a rabies shot. No, he loves stunts. Right, buddy? Buddy wants to live. Yeah, living to the max. Don't oh, worry, I'll catch you. Nice one, buddy. You wait here. I'll get him. Talk to me! No more! I can't take it! Oh, Beth, I know this has been hard on both of us, but think of Cody! Hard on both of us? Both of us? Well, guess what, Bucko? It's your turn to be Cody's buddy! Me? <laughs> I don't think I'd even fit! Won't know until we try! Buddy? Are you okay? <laughs> There's my buddy! Boy, you're a lot heavier than I remember. Let's have some crazy fun with Buddy. Oh, hi, Beth. Where's Owen? He said he had to take a whiz. Nice. Want to have some fun, Buddy? Uh, you are my best friend. And you will be very gentle with me. Aw, of course we will. Or not. Let's play! Sure, this isn't too fast. It's perfect. Just keep your foot pushed all the way down on the gas. Yeah! Ah! Yes! Yellow track! Yeah! Oh, oh, oh! You snap me! Ow, ow, ooh, ow. Da, 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 da. I think I caught something. Way to go! Good job, Cody! Buddy got something too! <laughs> Buddy needs <laughs> What fun! <gasps> now I want to make Buddy ride a pony! Be right back! Beth, you were right! Being Cody's buddy really hurts. I'm sorry I put you in here. Please, I need to get out. All right. I think you've learned your lesson. So if neither of us is willing to risk getting back into the buddy suit, what are we going to do? 
I guess we'll have to tell Cody the truth. You know what burns my britches? A, I don't know what britches are. And B, if anyone should be in this suit getting hurt, it's... Hey, ding-dong, dum-dums, what you been doing all day? Whoa, you hollowed it out? Oh, man, I could fit inside there and Cody would never know. Duncan, wait, we already did that and it was... Awesome, so super awesome. I'm going to mess with Cody so bad. Whatever happens, don't tell him it's me in here. Oh, don't worry. We won't. <laughs> Come on, Pony! You ride that pony! Wow, we got out at the right time. Should we be trying to stop this? Hmm, let's think about that for several minutes. Duncan? Uh-oh. Guess it's time to come clean. <gasps> Duncan was Buddy this whole time? Duncan is my best friend. <sighs> Let's go play, real best friend. Well, that worked out perfectly for everyone. It really did. <laughs> someone to love. That night as he... What's that noise? Izzy, it's not TV time. What? And now, the nominees for Education Professional of the Year. Education what of the what now? Jerry Room Temp. Don't let his generic look fool you. He is as fierce as he is forgettable. Gunning to win her 10th year in a row, Estelle Della Pizzi. And this year's final nominee, Jeffrey... Hatchet! What? I nominated you because you're the best teacher I e e ever had! Well, I'm the only teacher you've ever had. True, but you teach so good! Not good, well... See? You're such a well teacher! No, no, there you'd use good. I am hating this conversation. Just be grateful and move on, okay? I am! It's a big honor. Um, have you never seen this competition before? Uh... No. It's my favorite TV event of the year because teachers get destroyed. Destroyed? Oh, yeah. And here's horrifying footage of last year's competition. No! <laughs> oh, I'm allergic to cats. Uh, it's an award for teaching. Why are they fighting lions? Who cares? It's awesome. They compete in brutal contests that have almost nothing to do with teaching and get really hurt. And this year, it's going to be you. <laughs> I am so excited right now. Sure, it's dangerous, and some teachers don't survive. But that doesn't scare Chef. I believe in him, and he's going to win. Right, Chef? Chef? How far can I fly for $36 and, uh, 55, 56, uh, 57 cents? Wait, wait, you said $36 would get me to the end of the runway. Uh, 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 I didn't even get to finish that little bag of pretzels. Chef, I can't believe you were trying to run away. I'm sorry, kids. I can't compete for that award. You always tell me I can do whatever I put my mind to. That's about wiping your own bum, not fighting jungle cats. Please, you're too big and strong to be scared. Come on, we'll help you train. Don't you want us to be proud of you? Fine. Let the training begin. Got a little truth in my pocket. The winning teacher's class gets a year's supply of sour gummies. Best candy on earth. Beth and Lashana whipped up this practice obstacle course for you. First, 
You tippy toe through Pylon Alley, then launch yourself over Trash Can Hill to land in the section we call the Meat Shredder. Nope, stop! No way! I'm not doing any of this! I'll break my back! No, Chef! Don't give up! I'm sorry, Cody, but... Ah, crud! There's a cat on the course! Hang on, Chef! I'll get it! It's easy. Well, okay. Ah, I cannot wait for this year's competition. <laughs> Let's work on the basics. Focus on that trophy, Chef. You can win me, Chef. Cody, shush. Trophies don't talk. Chef, no matter what we do or how hard we try to distract you, do not take your eyes off the prize. <laughs> Our teachers are raring to go. And so are the new drone cameras that will circle the arena, capturing all the action. First, our teachers will show us how quickly they can get their students into snowsuits by putting a snowsuit on a crocodile. Let the games begin. Here goes Jerry. <laughs> what fun! We need an evac at competition one. Well, it'll be easier for the other contestants now that the crocs are tired from all that chewing. And here goes Estelle! Come on, Andy! Chef's almost up! So, with these top-secret joint manipulators I won in a chess game against the Secretary of Defense, every button you push with this remote makes Chef move! Try it out! An impressive eight seconds for Estelle. And here comes Shaq. <laughs> Shaq's done. But Estelle did it three seconds faster and has the lead. For the talent challenge, Estelle is combining annoying music and martial arts. <laughs> I bet her students pay attention in music class. There's an apple for the teacher. Nicely done. Ooh. Okay, not much going on facially, but his moves are amazing. Looks like the judges are giving the win to Chef. Chef and Estelle are tied as they head to the final challenge. Now you've made me mad. There's only one top teacher here, and that's me! Teacher? Da, 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 da. For the big finale, our two remaining contestants will race through a course we call the Summit of Learning! It starts with the cubby holes of doom. Look out for that trash trap. Then they'll need to cross the glove hurt section and the Piranha Pond before climbing Block Mountain to ring the end of day bell for the win. Oh yeah, this will be like taking sour candy from a bitter old lady. And they're off! Careful teachers, there's nasty stuff in those cubbies. Ooh, underwear bomb! Nice block! Oh, I hope those are clean. <laughs> 
Uh-oh! Here come the rats! Just like an old car, he's pumping the gas to get it going. This ends here! Chef's got a tiny leap as he reaches the Piranha Pond balance beam. The old lady's right behind him! Go! If Chef can summit Block Mountain and ring the end of day bell, he'll be the new champion. He's being controlled by the little girl! Yeah. Ha, ha, I did this! Oh, easy! Well, that ain't good. Ah! Ah! Huh, kids? Uh, where am I? And why can't I move? Ah! Yeah! Kids are in trouble! I have to save them! Teacher strength, activate! What a twist! Chef is now going the wrong way! <laughs> what a chump! <laughs> Estelle Della Betsy is the winner! Oh yeah! Still the champ! I'm sorry, Chef. I really wanted you to win, but I shouldn't have forced you to compete. I don't even deserve those sour gummies. Well, the important thing is that you learned a valuable... What sour gummies? Hold the phone, viewers. The judges have decided that Chef abandoning the course to save the students was somehow the right thing to do. And they've declared him the winner! That was the most painful thing that's ever happened to me. But thank you, Izzy. This award means a lot. Oh, good. Because the winner is automatically entered into the competition next year. More Total Drama Rama. In a distant world, far, far I can see that, and I need you to stop it right now! Or what? Our faces are gonna stay like this? People been spraying that malarkey as long as I can remember. But somehow, my face is as beautiful as ever. No, I'm asking you to stop because that mirror is haunted. Weird. Almost like a warning that something awful is gonna happen. Wait, how do you know it's haunted? Uh, cause I got it at a haunted garage sale, duh. I also bought a toaster in a microwave. Ew. I mean, I'm gonna eat them anyway, cause, you know, waffles, but still. Ew. Ah! Haunted appliances! Why would you buy haunted stuff? Cause the prices were scary good. I bought a haunted drum set too. But seriously, folks, even though it's super fun to make faces into a mirror, and even though I'm about to leave and won't be able to see what you're doing, do not keep doing it, okay? <sighs> you can always trust toddlers to choose responsibility over fun. That's why so many of them are surgeons. <laughs> I never should have brought these things to work. 
Returns. All sales final in this life and beyond, including but not limited to all states of undead. Brain smoothie. Oh, this isn't a return. It's just that something's wrong with this mirror you sold our teacher. Actually, it's haunted, not wrong. Sure, there's a haunted. Don't. Just go look around. We know it's haunted, but we made funny faces in it, and now we have no reflections, and we're getting blamed for bad stuff we didn't do. I see. Well, in that case, you are doomed. <laughs> ah! Cody, stop messing with the haunted appliances! Ah! Sorry, Beth. Ah! 
You see, when one makes a funny face into this mirror, their reflection crosses over from another realm into this one and carries out evil deeds. What? But why evil deeds? Well, that's what funny faces do. You want good deeds, you make serious faces. It's basic mirrorology. <laughs> He's going to have to pay for that. Cody, stop it! Sorry, Ben. Please, continue. The longer a reflection stays in the real world, the stronger it becomes. I should know. My evil reflection moved to Washington so he could work in politics. <gasps> that is evil. Okay, thanks, weird vampire guy. Come on, Cody. We've got evil reflections to trap. So, he said our reflections are the ones doing the mean things? Yeah, good thing we figured it out before things got really bad. Stop fake crying, Beth. <laughs> well, who brings a haunted mirror to a daycare in the first place? We could have gotten really hurt. I know. I'm sorry. I'm so bad at my job. <laughs> now you're fake crying. Oh, so it's okay for kids to fake cry, but not a grown man in a position of authority? Uh, you don't have to answer that. Look, I have a plan to fix this, but I'm going to need your help. Fine. Remember, we gotta be extra careful with this secret plan. If our reflections find out they could trap us in the mirror and take over our lives, we'd be in big trouble. And this is the part where I say, yes, that would be awful. Right? Oh, no. They have learned of our secret plan. Commence running. I think we lost them. Oh no! We're trapped! I can't believe we're gonna have to live in Chef's haunted mirror! Chef has a haunted mirror? What is wrong with you? <laughs> gotcha! Time for reflection is over! <laughs> Get in there! And with the mirror destroyed, no more reflections can ever get out again. Whew! Come on, Cody! because I'm missing the annual zombie parade. What's a zombie parade? It's amazing. Thousands of people roam the streets dressed as the insatiable undead, ready to slurp the brains right out of your head. I hide it well, but I'm kind of into dark stuff. Every year my mom takes me to the parade, but not this year, because today is Dental Hygienist Day. Good luck with that. 
Guess I'll try to watch the parade on TV. Uh, this just in. This year's parade is the best zombie parade ever. It might even be the best parade ever. Ugh, the reporter guy is blocking the zombies. Move over. You really have to see it in person. Anyone watching this on TV is missing out and should just go ahead and be very, very sad. Ugh, you can't even smell the decay. What are you doing? It's my plan. After you see the hygienist, she'll look at me and think, oh, I already saw her. Boom, no hygienist. Great, huh? I hate it. I've also been working on my Gwen impression. Creepy things make me happy. Stop it. Dark is the only color. Beth, funerals are my favorite holiday. Enough! If I can keep the dental hygienist away, will you please stop being me? Absolutely. All right. I've got a plan. <laughs> it's okay. Real men cry. Chef, come quick. It's an emergency. What's going on? Did Duncan steal my credit card again? Worse, something terrible is happening. It's the zombie apocalypse. Brains. Or like, whatever. I always knew this day would come. For this, huh? Oh, yeah. I've been preparing for a zompocalypse for years. Don't worry. I'll keep you kids safe. So what's the plan, Chef? Full lockdown? No one in or out? Nuh-uh. The worst thing you can do in a zombie outbreak is overreact. Um, what? Okay, the zombies are downtown, and that's miles from here. The police will probably handle it well before they get anywhere near us. So we want to be prepared, but calm. Listen up. It's recess time, but due to some, uh, concerning events downtown, I need you to be extra alert. Calm, but alert. Like concerned kittens. Concerned kittens? That's right. Like this. Licking a paw, licking a paw. What's that? Nothing. Whew. Okay, then. Licking a paw, licking a paw. What's that? You look silly. I'm not doing that. <sighs> Just be careful. Go on now. What are you doing? Burying my failure. I thought for sure Chef would lock down the school for a zombie apocalypse. I can already hear the hygienist complaining. You aren't flossing. You aren't brushing. Stop biting me. That's it. If someone had bite marks, Chef would have to lock down the school. Hey, Cody, how hard can you bite yourself? Uh, pretty hard. Ow! Why am I doing this? Um, science? I'm sciencing! Now, let's give him a zombie walk with glitter glue. I think I just went number three. Time to get back inside, kids! Only kids allowed in. No zombies. That's a strict policy. Uh, 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 uh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Cody, why are you walking so... Zombie? <gasps> did you get bit? Yes, I did. <sighs> okay, stay calm, stay calm, don't panic. That's easy for you to say. That kid's a zombie. <laughs> this new bracelet is pretty. What's happening, Chef? You seem concerned. It's okay, nothing to worry about. Just stay away from Cody. Uh, I better lock down the building. Aw, oh, what a drag. Wasn't the dental hygienist coming today? I was really looking forward to that. Don't worry. We'll still let her in as long as she can pass my not-a-zombie checklist. There's her van now. Oh, great. What do we do now? I guess we better make sure she fails the zombie test. Come on. Question one. Who are you and why are you here? I guess that's question one and two, but... I'm the dental hygienist. I'm here to floss some crying kids. Because my job is the worst. Sounds coherent. Good. Question three. I hope this works. Trust me, it will. 
Just wait until I give the signal. Question 38. Have you been bitten? I'm a children's dental hygienist. Of course I've been bitten. Have you been bitten today? Specifically today? By a zombie? I got three other schools to visit today, so can you just open the door? Hmm, she seems okay. Kids, I'm gonna let the dental hygienist inside. Let me know if she tries to bite your faces. Okay, I'm opening the door. Now. Sorry about that, but... Zombie! Actual zombie attack! Everyone panic! Forget your old lives! Zombies! I'm in frame, I'm out of frame! I'm in frame, I'm out of frame! Come on, Chef. You're better than this. Remember your training! Everyone stop! Even though the world as you know it is over, we'll still be safe in here. I've got enough provisions in my secret zombie apocalypse pantry to last until long after we've gone mad and turned on each other. <gasps> oh, hi, guys. I found a magic cupboard. <sighs> Thanks, Gwen. It looks like my baby teeth can remain a disgusting shade of gray for another year. It was kind of fun. <sighs> I just wish I wasn't missing the best parade ever. Hey, what if we could bring the parade to you? I'm listening. Okay, bye. That ought to do it. I just received word that there's free pizza waiting at a nearby school for any zombie who can answer, what do zombies love to eat? Zombies eat brains. Yes, they do. And the small giggling child on the other end of the line assured me this was not part of an elaborate scheme. You think this will really work? Never underestimate the power of free pizza. Kids, I know this is scary, but I'm here to protect you no matter what. I would never, ever... Uh, brains. Ah! brains! 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 Ugh. We're not letting anything that ugly take us down without a fight. No, no, no! Don't open the door! Bring it! What the heck, kid? Ow, not cool, man. This is the most beautiful zombie parade ever. Raise! Raise! These are too powerful! Fall back! Do your job, man. Protect the kids. Zombies! Leave the kids alone! Take me! <laughs> Sir, are you the man who decided to feed all the zombies this year? Yes, they can eat my brains if it saves the kids. <laughs> Still in character. Wonderful. So, where are the pizzas? What pizzas? Hey, why aren't you a zombie? Uh, you seem confused. Someone here called in saying there'd be free pizza for all the zombies marching in this year's parade. What? Don't listen to him, Chef! He's probably a zombie! Hey, I know that voice. You're the little girl who called in promising free pizza. And you know what? For no reason whatsoever, I'm gonna say that other little girl looks super guilty too. That's right, floss him again. I hope this teaches you both about lying or keeping your teeth clean or whatever lesson you should be learning right now. Guys, is it just me? Or does anyone else smell delicious? Brains. 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 Ah, Cody, no! Stop biting me! Cody!